my story as it, uh, it ties in to downtown Greenville uh, starts when I was much younger because I'm born and raised from here. Uh, being raised in Greenville, born in Greenville, uh, there's not a lot of that anymore and that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm very accepting uh, to, to our, our big growth, but to have any idea how blessed you feel when you walk in Michelin on Main, which is now not just a retail establishment, but also a television studio in your own hometown is uh, a humbling and awing experience um, and one that I try not to take advantage of and take for granted every day. Uh, it, when I go through downtown, because I was asked, you know, um, what, what are some of the triggers that, that bring memories back to you? I can tell you that, uh, you know, my memories start at North Main. My, my father grew up back off of North Main, but by the time I came around, my grandfather and my father were running something called a 24-hour store. And you won't see it anymore, but you'll see a vacant lot. And it's right at where Stone Avenue and North Main are. And any time I come off of Stone Avenue and I round that corner at North Main, if you look in that vacant lot off to your left, you are going to see a red cement floor. And that's the same red cement floor that this little girl, when she was five, six, seven, a few more years after that, ran around in and played and got to ravage the candy aisle, got to stand on two Coca-Cola crates and, uh, and try and pretend to ring up customers. Um, I can smell ribs that were cooked in there because that was the food of the day. There weren't a lot of the fancy restaurants like, you know, Carl and Rick have brought into nowadays. Um, but downtown Greenville was as much my home on that little corner and that red floor is still there and um, they sold some risque magazines but I was not allowed to look at those. <laughs> um, it's a huge memory for me um, and to see Greenville change and grow but not grow to where you lose it uh, but to grow where you're proud of it um, and then get to walk in here every day. Um, it's, it's a little slice of heaven. I don't want to sound too corny, but uh, it's, um, it's a really special thing.